Why do you speak English to your father? It's uh, mostly by habit because mm. since I was a child, so I could speak English normally, like how you could, uh. how you would hear native uh, speakers speak English, but the time or the moment that I read English, yeah. it like immediately switches to that Japanese English because my <laughs> teacher taught me how to read English like that. So yeah, right. because he was concerned, he decided to actually talk to me uh, in English every time we do like Skype. Oh my god, Skype. <laughs> Skype just so, so, so long, long ago. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I guess it, it stuck until now. Right. So basically, uh, Lita, we, Lita was born in Australia, but certainly nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lita was born in Australia when, when Lita was seven months, right? Yes. We come back to Indonesia and then so, and Lita was in Indonesia until you were two and a half years mm -hmm. old. So meaning that her bahasa Indonesia was, was good already. And then we, we went to Australia for my study and Lita, uh, like the three of us, uh, Lita, Asti and me, and Lita started to learn uh, native English, right, basically. Mm -hmm. So by the time she was like five, five. And nearly, five, nearly five, and then returned to Indonesia, meaning that at that time Lita could speak English well already, but could not read and write uh -huh. yet. <laughs> so when she went to SD, and there was a pelajaran bahasa English, right, and then there we go. We don't really need to mention the name of the yes. teacher, probably. Uh -huh. <laughs> Because the teacher was reading in the Javanese dialect accent like that, and Lita started to speak like that when she was reading. Mm -hmm. So that's my concern, and then I we decided to uh, basically speak in English just to improve her English, or not really improve your English, but to maintain your English, mm -hmm. and then to uh, start to read and write in English. That's how we. Uh, kenapa di tetap dilakukan sampai sekarang? Yeah, because we uh, show that English is is good right important also and the next reason for me is uh, because we can use english to talk uh, sensitive uh, topics <laughs> because english is not my our language right? that's basically okay bagaimana cara pak andi mendidik lita soalnya lita pintar bahasa inggris he didn't do anything <laughs> i didn't do anything what i did is just, just let lita do and discover yeah. right he just he just helped me with i guess all the other like learning vocabulary and stuff I no. do myself. By the way, now my vocabulary I think is a lot worse than Lita. Uh, well, yesterday by the way, I read Lita's, not yesterday, was it this morning? You, you finished this morning. I, I finished reading uh, Lita's, one of Lita's chapter uh, in English. I found a lot of words that I didn't understand the meaning. <laughs> it's so, it's basically... I didn't do that much to teach Lita in English, uh, how to speak English, but I think I just basically let you do it, right? Mm -hmm. So, so I let you learn I from YouTube, you or me. yeah, that's what I, do. I support. Just, just I don't support. really. Lita never went to English course, correct? Yes. This is for clarification. No, no English course at all. Jadi belajarnya purely from YouTube, from the internet. That's it. My advice is that give the as much give as possible exposure mm -hmm. to your kids if this is for parents. So. Biarin aja dia baca atau atau dengerin gitu ya mungkin from YouTube it's, yes, it's all good. I think good. dengerin while baca like if you're like oh, right, right, because right. I'm audio visual my learning. All right. So yeah, like reading or like watching YouTube like in English while putting on subtitles. That's very true. That's so, a good way to. Jadi learn. mendengar bahasa Inggris membaca bahasa Inggris at the same time, right? Yes.